Hey what's up guys this is going to be another Android Studio beginner tutorial and in this tutorial I am going to go over scroll views. So if you've ever tried to use a scroll view you'll know that it wasn't as straightforward as you, you thought it originally would be. So I'm going to show you how to use a scroll view properly and get a, a scrolling kind of window here that you can scroll down to if you have a bunch of text that takes up more than your view window. So I created a new project and I called it scroll view and we'll start off by going into our layout file in activity main and let's create a couple text fields actually I can just uh, rename this one I'm gonna call this one title window and then I'm gonna create another text view and I'm gonna call it uh, message window and the message window is going to be below the title window there we go uh, so we're gonna have to the match parent width for both of these and this one will just have like a 50 dp height and let's do a match parent height for this guy so we have two text fields now uh, occupying the entire layout so let's go into main activity and declare our text views so we have both our text fields here we have a title window and a message window and I'm just going to create a string builder to help me create long strings so that it'll occupy the entire screen just to give a demo of what it would actually be like if you had a whole bunch of text so I'll create a new object called the string builder. And actually above the string builder, let's just set the title right away. So I'll go title window dot set text. This is some title. And then let's go back down and we're gonna add some information into our string builder. So we'll create a string, we'll call it some message. And it's gonna be just this is some message that I'm writing to append. Pretty straightforward. I'm gonna put spaces at the beginning and the end. And then I'm just gonna loop and populate the string bolt builder with that string over and over again. So I don't know, I'll just do a hundred, loop it a hundred times and we'll just go string builder, string builder dot append and we'll append some message. So we'll just append it over and over again. And then at the end of that, we'll append the message. We'll set the, uh, sorry, set the string builder to our text field. So you gotta call the two string method on a string builder because it's not technically a string. And that will be it. So let's run it and take a look and see what that looks like. Hmm, uh, what did I do wrong here? Oh, it looks like I mixed up the title window and the message window. Okay, so let's just change those and rerun it. Okay, so here we have our, we have our title up here and then here is our actual text field that contains uh, the message. And you can see I can't scroll this. So the text overflows, but there's no way for me to scroll down and actually see all the text. So we can one way to resolve this is to use a scroll view so we'll go into activity main and um, your first instinct is going to be just to go scroll view match parent match parent sure and then take these text fields and throw them inside of the scroll view but that actually won't work if you look over here it says scroll view can only have one child so if i try and run this the app will just crash and we can see that it crashes so then you're probably thinking, okay, well, if we can only have one child, let's just take out the title, stick it up here. Um, we'll put the scroll view below the title and that'll be good. Then the scroll view only actually has one child. So let's run it and take a look and see what that looks like. And you can see that does work, but you get your title that's stuck at the top here. So I can scroll through the message, but, but your title is stuck at the top. So in some cases, that's gonna be what you want to do but in others it won't. In some other, like what if I wanted to add another text field inside the scroll view? It's not gonna let me. So I'm gonna show you how to work around that. And what you do is you actually create, you can create another layout inside of the scroll view. So I'll go relative layout, match parent, match parent. And then inside of this relative layout, I'm gonna throw in the text fields. So I can throw that text field in there and I can throw this text field in there and I can get rid of that and put that right here. So now we have a relative layout with two text fields inside of it, but the scroll view only actually has one direct child. It only has one direct child that's contained, that is this relative layout right here. So if I run this, this will work. So now we see that we have the relative layout contained in completely inside the scroll view and I can scroll through everything that I need to here. And then of course, like if you wanted to add another text field or another thing up here that was static and wasn't actually scrolling, you could go, I don't know, Let's just create a button. So I just have some button at the top. I called it some button. And then inside the scroll view, well, I guess I gotta give it an ID. So I'll give it an ID, say some button. And then inside the scroll view here, I will go 
layout below ID some button. So now the scroll view will be down below the button and the button will stay sort of at the top of the screen at all times. It's not going to scroll with the scroll view. So we can look at it here and we can see our button stays at the top and, every, and our title and our message is scrollable. So that's it for this video. I want to keep it nice and short. Just go over scroll views because I know they were a bit confusing when I was first trying to learn how to use scroll views. That whole one child thing is weird. You think, oh, then I can only have one sort of view inside of the scroll view, but no, that's not true. You can create a layout inside of the scroll view and then put as many things as you want inside that layout. If this video was helpful, make sure you leave a like below. Follow me on Twitter for notifications when new tutorials are posted. Subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching.